Hello Peaches, welcome back to Dear Peachy. We know that you guys have been waiting for this video. Thank you for your patience and it's finally here. It seems like it is a common perception that our appearance will not be flattered if we are wearing corrective glasses. We had been always made aware, through films and television series and the various books that we'd read, that the acquisition of corrective lenses was something to be very, very sad about. Whether you wear glasses every day, reach for them only on occasion, or just throw a pair on sometimes for a little extra fun. The frames you choose can ultimately dictate how you look. Well, eyeglasses aren't typically talked about as part of a beauty look, but if you ask us, they should be. So in today's video, we are going to provide you some idea that will be extremely helpful for you to pick the perfect pair of glasses for your look. As usual, this video will be divided into different parts. Please refer to the timestamps for each section. Before we begin, Comment to let us know if you think that you prefer yourself without glasses. Well, I'll go first. I certainly do not like myself with glasses. Contact lens has always end up being the solution especially on special occasions. However, we are sure that this is definitely not true to some people. Some people do really look better with glasses, their facial features are enhanced, and they look even more attractive after wearing glasses. So what are the reasons that decides why some can look better with glasses? First, if you have smaller size and less sparkly eyes. Wearing glasses can help to accentuate the shape of your eyes. This is because wearing glasses is able to expand the eye area and thus reducing the visual impression of blank space within this area. Second, wearing glasses is more advantageous for those who are with close or wide set eyes. With eyeglasses, it can help to bring balance to the overly close or wide distance between both eyes and weaken its visual impression. Other than that, Face shapes with protruded facial bones would benefit greatly from wearing glasses. For instance, facial structure with sunken temple region and protruded cheekbones. The lens frame of glasses will help to accentuate the outline of our facial structure to become smoother and the protruded edges to be less prominent. Protruding mouth can be also accentuated with glasses. The difference of depth of our facial features can be neutralized with wearing glasses and causing the lower region of our face to be less prominent. Lastly, if you have lower nose bridge, Glasses will look great on you too. The bridge of the glasses will cover your nose root and hence causing it the height of your nose bridge to be less noticeable. So how do we pick the right glasses for ourselves? Even though we have mentioned that glasses can help to accentuate our facial structure, but why do we still think that we look less attractive with it? This is because you didn't pick the right one that best suit your face. Factors like frame shape, color, and style all come into play and can alter your aesthetic. If you're wondering why some frames look downright gorgeous on display, but not so much when you try them on, it may be because you're picking the wrong kind for your face. Let's talk about style. If you prefer younger looking style, round lens frame will be more suitable. It has curved outline and has lighter visual weight too. If you would like to go for elegant, formal and more matured style, thicker frame with chic designs will definitely elevate your style. However, you would need to avoid glasses that are with flat and wider frame shapes, as these designs will make one look dull and older. Other than understanding your own face shape before deciding the right pair of glasses, there are other factors you will need to pay attention to. First being the size of lens frame and its shape and second the misshaping effect from the power of the lens. For example, our eyes will always look smaller after wearing glasses. As the lenses get stronger and lens power, the lens will get thicker and hence making the eyes look smaller. Not only that, but the misshaping effect will also get worsened with higher lens power too. Therefore, we must pay more attention to that the misshaping effect from the lens can have significant influence in how our face shape will look. In other words, this can also tell us that never go shopping for your prescription glasses with your full makeup and contact lens on. You might think that the glasses that you pick look chic and amazing on you while you try them on in the store, but only to find out that it actually doesn't suit you at all when you wear it with your bare face at home. Tip number one, always pick lens frame that is smaller than your face. This is because lens frame that is too big for your face will cause your face shape to be misshapen when you put them on. The strong power of the lens will cause the sides of your face to be deformed like this. The outer side of the rims lies very close to our hairline, so the distorted reflection will be seen clearly from front. Lens frame with appropriate size will not have such issue. There is still a little distance between the outer rim and hairline. Your face shape will not be changed when it is viewed from the front. The misshaping effect from the lens are now only limited within the lens frame, instead of spreading over your face. 
If you prefer a bigger frame, glasses with thicker rim will be a better choice for you. Although the size of the frame is slightly bigger than your face, but the rim itself is thick enough to mask the misshaping effect from the lens. Tip number two. Choose frame with suitable upper rim thickness for your brow to eye distance. Lens frame with appropriate upper rim thickness will usually sit right in the middle of the distance between our brows and eyes. If the eyeglasses sit too high on your face, the upper rim will cover your brows. It will then make you look like you're missing a feature out from your face. The imbalance of your face will look out of place and it can also cause your head to look bigger visually. For people who have close eye to brow distance and longer mid-face proportion, you will need to avoid the upper half rim glasses. This design will even further highlight the imbalance of your face. In contrast, such design is a much friendly option for those who have wider eye to brow distance. The thicker upper rim is able to fill up the blank space between this area and make your eyes pop. Besides that, the shape and the ratio of your facial proportion will influence the choice of your glasses too. If you have long face shape and your mid face is longer than the other proportions of your face, lens shape with longer length will suit you better. The extended length of the lens frame is able to occupy the blank area within our mid face and gives a better balance to our facial proportion. Besides that, glasses with thicker rim will also help to weaken the visual impression of your mid face ratio being too long. However, glasses without any rims like this might not be a suitable choice for people with long mid face ratio. On the contrary, this type of glasses will look great on people with shorter mid-face ratio. The rimless design gives a lighter and airy impression, and it doesn't frame up your eyes. It is really worth trying for anyone who loves to wear makeup every day. However, you would need to avoid such design with tinted lens. Colors like brown tea or black tinted lens often make one looks more matured. The biggest mistake people make when picking out glasses is matching the frame shape to your face shape. But what you actually want to do is pick out the frame shape that is opposite from the shape of your face. This helps in balancing the features of your face. Hence, round shape frame glasses suit people with square or diamond face shape. The curved outline of the frame is able to accentuate the protruded edges of such face shapes. Besides that, round shape frame glasses is more advantageous for face shape with protruded jawline too. The cat eye shape frame will be a very smart choice to shift people's attention away from your jawline but only to focus at the upper part of your face. In contrast, wearing glasses with square frame further highlights the angular feature of our face. Therefore, oval, round and cat eye shape frames can soften and add contrast to the face. On the other hand, a rounder face is characterized by soft curves with few angles. As a general rule, a balanced face looks best so people with rounder faces should select angular frames to help sharpen and add definition. Rectangular styles glasses make a round face look slimmer. Besides considering the frame shape and lens color before picking your favorite pair of glasses, we should also not forget about the color of the frame itself. Normally, glasses are usually in three main colors, like black, metallic such as gold or silver and tortoiseshell. Do you know that different colors of the frame will vary differently in their visual weight? The darker the color, the more traditional and formal it will look. If you have high visual weight or prominent features, you can't go wrong with a pair of glasses with thick, black frame. However, such design will steal the attention from your delicate features if you have low visual features. The tortoiseshell or metallic pair is a great option to complement the softness of your facial features. The tortoiseshell pair will be a more subtle and safe choice, while the metallic frame will look more stylist and chic. On the other hand, you can also pick the metallic frame color according to your skin tone. If you have cool undertone skin, silver frame will look great on you, whereas warm undertone often fare better with gold frames instead. Coming to the last part of this video, eye makeup for glasses. Another way to accentuate your facial features is to pay extra attention to your eye makeup. Putting makeup that is too light actually doesn't make any difference in enhancing your features. The makeup just does not come through the way you expected it to after you put on your glasses. So we will briefly discuss the few key points that you should know before applying your makeup. First, the eyeshadow. Oftentimes, the eyeshadow that we applied on the upper lid are blocked by the frame. So we resort to put heavier makeup so that the shadows can be shown through the lens. Nevertheless, applying too much of eyeshadow will cause your makeup to look messy and unclean too. The best that we can do is to line the eyeshadow and narrow down the region that we will be blending the shadow on our upper lid. 
Layer your shadows within your crease and lash line. Put more focus in your eyeliner and curling your lashes to enhance your eyes instead. Let's look at the examples of the other China beauty gurus. We can see that their eye makeup is simple but the eyeliner, lashes are the main focus. Wearing mascara instantly helps making your eyes pop. A trick which is easy and quick to execute. Keep your lashes clean and defined. All you need to do is upgrade your natural lashes with an elongated and thickening mascara. Add both in lockstep to add volume and length. Go natural with your liner. Reach for your trusty eyeliner and extend a winged liner to just slightly extend the length of your eyes for a natural look. Glasses frame your face and they also draw attention to your brows, so you win half the battle if your brows are shaped and trimmed well. Other than that, you can shape your brows by following the curve of your glass frame too. You can make a little change to the shape of your brows to complement your look. For instance, go for curved brows for round shaped glasses or lifted straight brows for angular shape frames. Since all eyes will surely be on yours, you can keep the rest of your face simple for an easy and quick look. Frames can sometimes create the appearance of shadows underneath your eyes, so we can actually skip the step for nose contouring. As the nose pad sits right on top of our nose root, the nose contour will often get end up being covered. The contour which is applied at the nose bridge and nose tip will appear to be shorter and the shadows will look unclean instead. Less is definitely more. Same goes to the face contour. Just a light touch of bronzer to warm up your face is definitely enough for you. Blush can be a precious ally or a formidable enemy, but an over-applied dark shade looks fake and ages your face. Choose light and natural shades like peach, pink and soft coral and apply them with a light hint. If you are wearing glasses with thinner rims, apply blush to the upper part of your cheeks to flatter your face shape. The same theory applies on glasses with thicker rim too. Heavily applied blush will create too much of colors overlapping on your skin and will distract the balance of your look. Always opt for a natural, fresh and cheerful complexion like the one you get after a good night's sleep or a walk outdoors. Alright, we have finally come to the end of our video today. We hope that our video is helpful for you to search for your perfect pair of glasses but remember that this is a guide, not a rule book. If you like the look of a frame on yourself, own it. Making your own style rules can be a fun and expressive way to show your individual personality and spirit too. And now, go forth and frame your beautiful face. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye!